We are the incumbent. We are in charge. We run the country. Everybody, when they open their mouth, they do the easiest and the lazy job of complaining and attacking the incumbent. That's why people are forming political parties like mushrooms. Because they've got hope that if they criticize the ANC about the defects in terms of governance, they will make it at least one seat in parliament, uh, at least two seats, family, husband and wife, and all of that. So they are hoping for that. With what we see, the shenanigans of uh, Mahashule, it's not new. Mahashule has long worked inside the ANC for the proliferation of political parties. He formed them. ATM was formed by him. Uh, and that decision was taken somewhere in a hotel in Devon. And then that is why uh, he formed a party called ACT. When they formed ATM, the first option was ACT. And then they resorted to the name ATM later. That's why the colors are, sim are, are similar. It's one and the same thing. With some priest uh, from, KZ, uh, from uh, Eastern Cape. When he saw people coming to pray, he thought about a political party. And then uh, he called it ATM. He was assisted by Mahashule. And then they formed a lot of political parties that were going to eat from the ANC. Uh, what, that was the objective, with the aim of ensuring that uh, that will lead to the removal of Cyril Ramaphosa as the president. So that's why Ace, when he came into office, the first thing he said to ANC members, give me five years. And where is that five years now? He's out and he has formed a party. So that's why Peggy Kele answered him and said, Uza begu upie nangkule five years. I nigga zabant, jenga no pala who was elected by everybody at conference. And then he gives people ultimatums. So there is nothing new there. They are not going to offer anything. They will do the laziest jobs, laziest job of critiquing the ANC without giving an alternative. The moonshoot arrangement is a conglomeration and the coming together of old chaps who used to work together in the old order. We liberated them. But they now call them moonshoot with a view to unseat the African National Congress. But if you go to the content of the moonshoot, you will realize that that thing is anti-worker. It's anti all the progressive policies that we've got. Uh, that's what it is. I mean, you can look at them where they govern, how they treat workers. Uh, you know the challenges that face the taxi industry in our country. But uh, how they are treated in the Western Cape don't think is the same as in Johannesburg and other provinces. That because taxi industry operates in the informal, in the fringes of the informal economy, and then you think that uh, no, they are, it is justified to what the DA is doing to them in the Western Cape. There, your car is impounded just for smoking alone inside the car. A policeman come and impound the car, and then they charge them ten thousand to go and get your car back. When you charge a taxi person, they say those are bylaws. 10,000 to go and take the car. You have taken basically the, 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 the income of the whole week from that particular person. So laws must be enforced, but uh, it's a racist arrangement that seeks to push the taxi industry out in a particular way without a formal agreement on what needs to happen uh, to transform uh, the taxi industry and professionalize it, which is what we are leading as government. So that's what they do uh, where they govern. And uh, this is what they will do if they were to be given power in this particular country. So that is the arrangement that you've got in this country. Uh, that um, people are mobilizing and so on and so on. We are going to work and uh, we appreciate that uh, NUM over the years have supported the ANC in terms of personnel and resources on the ground, in terms of mobilization. And uh, we will much appreciate that continued working together because NUM have understood that as much as we've got challenges from time to time, 
but the interests of the workers are safeguarded through the tripartite alliance led by the African National Congress. And nobody else can guarantee that uh, to the workers. And it is, it is against that particular background that uh, we are strengthening the tripartite alliance and ourselves, including addressing a whole range of issues that uh, we are facing.